since it's a 40 minute meeting we should just uh, dive into the meeting we have mr veera raghavan he comes with 40 plus years of experience in the field of perfumery and he has worked in many different geographical regions he's worked in the asia pacific he spent a lot of time in the middle east and the african subcontinents he is a cross category expert he has uh, immense expertise when it comes to agarbatti fragrance detergents fine perfumes and as a perfumer i think the most important thing is to have a commercial success on that note he has had several successful product launches one key thing that we found uh, to be really amazing is the fact that he has mastery in uh, about 1500 perfume ingredients including naturals and synthetics so we felt like it's high time we bring someone uh, like veera to the indian fragrance and personal care ecosystem and not just limit to the indian continent i think we want to go beyond that too so that is the whole idea of bulk aroma so veera if we have missed out anything you can fill in okay good evening everybody and uh, first of all uh, thank you prashant uh, uh, for, for this wonderful opportunity and uh, start this uh, training program the first of many uh, training programs in perfumery and related areas great many thanks to you prashant and balkaroma for this wonderful opportunity and uh, aside from whatever prashant has spoken about me first and foremost the primary purpose the primary objective behind this online platform is to nurture and promote young indian perfumers budding perfumers budding evaluators on a global platform i know today there are a few but 3 years from now which could be a very ambitious uh, timeline or 5 years from now i want to see a lot of indians in every transnational fnd of company that matters in the fnd business that is the primary purpose behind this online program i don't know everything in my 40 years it just looks like yesterday i started my career in the year 1982 today we are in 2022 exactly 40 years i am no more young but i have with me 40 years of solid experience i am a startup specialist which means my second objective of promoting indian family owned fnd of companies to a level playing field in a global platform is what is my second objective so with my knowledge of raw materials my cross category expertise and my knowledge and experience of working with various cultures i'm sure i can be of some use to traditional family owned indian fnd of companies to help you guys compete better on a global platform this and more to come in the coming few weeks in the coming few months and a few years down the line i wish you guys all the very best and i hope sincerely hope i will be able to more than satisfy the objective of this online training program which is to ensure adequate knowledge to equip each and every one of you knowledge of raw materials knowledge of fragrances knowledge of products so detergents agarbatti fine fragrances deodorants and so on and most important understand what is a cross cultural fit what is that one fragrance which is which is right which is acceptable across cultures this will be my mission this will be my sincere effort to satisfy one and all of you and i hope at the end of this few weeks of online sharing information sharing you will be equipped to compete better in your field 
chosen field of expertise prashant yeah thank you so what uh, mr veera was uh, talking about is you know we have a series of uh, training programs planned and more importantly the idea of the training program is to focus more on outcomes so if you take the program it has to make an immediate impact on the business right so that's the kind of programs that we are now able to envision with someone like veera fine so i'll move on to the questions the first question that i want to talk about is how does one get into the perfume industry as a perfumer can you share your insights on that uh considering the fact that the f and f industry today we have a pile of raw materials a few thousand raw materials and much of it is synthetic we have naturals which are about 350 to 400 natural ingredients and the rest 2500 3000 is all synthetic chemicals considering the fact considering today's scenario that a perfumer is confronted with a lot of synthetic molecules around him or around her it is recommended that a young aspiring perfumer should ideally have a chemistry background a background in chemistry biochemistry biotechnology chemical engineering is welcome with this background what you do what you do is either go to a perfume school in india we have the keva school of perfumery in mumbai and we have icit the institute of chemical technology they offer a masters program in perfume and flavor technology you go to these two schools and learn perfumery and related areas one in india the second possibility is to go to isipka in france and learn creative perfumery this is one way the second way is to join a large fragrance company iff you are done from a niche they may if you are lucky get selected in their in house school jordan as a in house school formanix as a in house school iff as a in house school so i should not say lucky if you are proficient if you are seen as a nose as a talented nose for sure you will get picked up as a trainee performer for in house training in these companies which is the second possibility the third way is to be an apprentice to be a compounding assistant in the creation laboratory to compound for your performers and then you get spotted recognized and you get an opportunity to get trained as a young trainee performer these are the three ways to become a performer in today's in the 21st century what once you get into this school a in house school or you go to isipka what you do is you learn the olfactory skills there are various families you have the floral family you have the woody family you have in the florals you have rose jasmine tuberose so on and so forth so many florals in the woody you have sandalwood you have patchouli you have vetiver and then you have amber and then you have musk and then you have few thousand raw materials but then your training is spread over 3 years for sure you cannot learn you cannot be expected to be proficient in this few thousand raw materials that is for a later part of your career the first 12 to 18 months for sure you will be expected to be proficient with a few hundred raw materials the most important 
the most classical and quite a lot of natural because unless and until we appreciate understand and comprehend a natural raw material there is no way it can be a possible the most important critical part in a perfumer's training regimen is to be proficient and understand the various facets of a natural ingredient natural raw materials 350 to 400 now again considering the fact that your training of raw materials smelling of raw materials is only for the first 12 to 18 months again you are not expected to be proficient with all the 400 natural raw materials the most important ones maybe 100 to 150 natural raw materials you are expected to be proficient which means you should know at the end of 12 months how best to use absolute jasmine grandiflorum how to differentiate absolute jasmine grandiflorum and absolute jasmine sambac how to differentiate grandiflorum india and grandiflorum egypt because egyptian jasmine and indian jasmine grandiflorum are the same as a young perfumer by smelling can you pick up this egyptian quality and this as the indian quality is your expertise is your cutting edge expertise which will decide which will help your mentor your trainer your supervisor your guru to know for sure that yes this boy this girl is a bomb is a sure shot creative perfumer this and more for the naturals and then the most important yes, synthetics the most important synthetics so put together between the naturals and synthetics in your first 12 months to 18 months hibernation when i say hibernation it's only learning you are not expected to deliver anything it's only learning and learning 90% is your own effort so in this cocoon in this hibernation period of 12 to 18 months you are you should try your best do your best to learn as much as you can if your guru says if your master says 400 why not 600 it's your own effort nobody can stop you so as much as possible believe me the first 12 to 18 months of this training decides your future creativity your whole career is depending on this first 12 to 18 months training what you're getting in this no school in this isipka in this keva in this icit or in this creation laboratory under a senior person so this is the only way to become a perfumer and after this 12 months if you are lucky 18 months you start working with gcms reports wherein you are fed the perfumer the boy or the girl the young perfumer is fed with gcms reports of famous classical styles shall fly samsara shalima things like this and the modern ones prakarnoy poison charli things like this and then see how best you are able to modernize maybe they'll give you a skeleton and then they'll expect you to complete prakarnoy by smell charli by smell which means your knowledge of raw materials will come in handy to complete <coughs> a charli with a gcms some items are missing deliberately so by smell they'll give you the charli perfume and then they'll give you the gcms report and then they'll say you have to match this charli perfume some ingredients are missing which you have to pick up by smell and then you have to quantify it's not trial and error it is your objective experimentation objectivity the objective is to be as close as possible to the target which is charli which is dakarnar which is brut which is shalimar which is samsara so on and so forth so this is the second part of your training and then finally you start on simple commercial projects you will also of course 
do simple florals rose jasmine you will also do single woody note sandalwood things like this the simple musk all this and more and then you graduate at the end of say 24 months after 2 years or 2 and 1/2 years in the final lap 6 months of your 3 years 30 months is over in the final 6 months you will be doing commercial perfumery hand held by a experienced perfumer which means in this 30 months your guru has seen your style <coughs> and he knows that your style is in line with so and so perfumer sitting in los angeles so and so perfumer sitting in paris this is perfumer sitting in singapore this perfumer sitting with a low profile me in chennai uh, this perfumer in shanghai today with technology contact connection discussions is everything is possible over phone or video calls so it is possible that you'll be aligned although you are in new york you'll be aligned although if you are in singapore you'll be aligned with a performer in chennai or with a performer in tokyo or with a performer in paris because your style as a budding performer is in line with this senior performer sitting in a remote location how it is possible it is a reality it is not just a possibility it is a reality happening in all the transnational companies after the world and again as i said i want this to be a reality with indian family owned companies in the time to come so once you are an understudy to a senior performer at the end of 3 years you are a junior performer and you are a, you are working i will not say close supervision you are part of this close closely knit team with the senior performer the senior performer has performers and a lot of junior performers and several trainee performers the very fact that you are put into this team with the senior performer means you are on track you are accepted and you are seen as a successful talented nose in the time to come All, all this calls for a lot of effort. Three years is just a hibernation. The journey will be a solo journey because you are creative. You are a creative professional. I may share everything with you, but the way you do it will be totally different from the way I ever thought it can be done because it is so abstract. it is so creative some scent the way you perceive a raw material the way you perceive or make an acceptable composition which is popular for a certain race for a certain region for a certain religion in some ways i could not even think about it so this and more because it is so abstract you can never say till your 10 years into the industry we are not sure that yes this young perfumer the boy or the girl is now proficient to take on independent responsibilities this takes at least 12 years maybe 15 years and at the end of this journey 12 to 15 years you are on your own you are an independent perfumer or a senior perfumer senior perfumer is a very rare position it is not a senior manager or a senior executive no the industry in india when i started my career <coughs> i became a senior perfumer in the year 1994 in a german company and i was given the certificate by my headquarters Regional headquarters in Asia Pacific. The German company was Dragoco, and the German master perfumer who gave me the certificate was Mr. Richard Wagner. This lifetime, I am grateful to Mr. Richard Wagner because he spent a lot of time nurturing me 
dedicating a lot of effort time and money he invested in me and he never at no point he made me feel that because i am from a certain region i may be good or i may be bad i was given an equal opportunity way back in 1984 way back in 1984 i was just 34 years old and i was the four, youngest international senior popper from india i got early recognition in my career i hope this kind of recognition respect and experience will come will fall in the way of lot many more popmers from india and all the young population all over the world so how to get noticed is your sheer all factor skill this industry is all about skills if you have the all factor skills there is no way you will fail there is no way you will not be recognized i have this conviction that if you are talented if you are resourceful if you are knowledgeable even at 62 today i am still working because i am a man of knowledge the power of knowledge knowledge will not fail you with knowledge you can make money the way you want as much as you want I, so am i the richest popper in india no but am i the most knowledgeable one of the most knowledgeable yes and what is my definition of money my definition is i want to live a life which is comfortable i want to be happy and i want to share my happiness is i want to share my knowledge i want to help my young fraternity to be a better professional again my 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 sincere advice to the young budding aspiring performers and evaluators learn to manage your managers because the industry today is controlled by managers be smart to outsmart your managers i hope you understand the purpose of the statement so if you manage your managers and if you are adequately skilled there's no stopping you the world is your platform the world is your stage sure. so trainee performer to junior performer to performer to senior performer and then the world is your stage just for the community uh, and people listening in mr veera is a senior perfumer we are looking at a number of around 200 to 250 senior perfumers globally so for someone like veera to work with us uh, is really a privilege for us who helps the perfumers to be successful perfumers are proficient with raw materials and finished compounds evaluators help the perfumer achieve this goal that goal of being a dream perfumer evaluators also are an important resource <coughs> in a fragrance company they are the interface between the perfumers and the consumer customers without the evaluators there can be no perfumers in the scenario as it is today the 21st century evaluators know exactly how to tap which perfumer for what project for what profile for which market and how to guide the perfumer to help help him achieve help him or her achieve that dream project that dream success which can be mind boggling for the perfumer for the evaluator and for the fragrance company evaluators are equally important and like i said in a perfume school there is a training for perfumers there is also a dedicated training for evaluators and as much as i want to see young perfumers i also want to see young indian evaluators on a global platform in the time to come the time is 3 years maximum 5 years from now good luck to all you young evaluators prashant go on yeah 
Yes, Sunit. So, fixatives, uh, we've heard everywhere. It's on social media, it's on YouTube. And I think there's a lot of misrepresentation of facts when it comes to fixatives. So, for example, usually it's promoted as one size fits all approach. You know, you just put one fixative and done. It takes care of all the performance related issues. So, uh, which is not the real fact. Can you share uh, your thoughts on fixatives and what they are and how you could use them? Fixatives are the dream ingredients in performance. Historically, in performance and more so in modern performance. Quickly, what does it change the facet of a creation? You have a totally lifeless creation. Use a fixative, the fragrance becomes lively. You have a fragrance which is everything is perfect, not enough long lasting. Put a fixative, it becomes long lasting. You have a fragrance which is everything is okay, but not blooming. Put a fixative, it is blooming. Radiance, fixative. Fixatives is a set of magical ingredients, both natural and synthetics, which are used, which have been used historically in puffery, more so in modern day puffery. There are fixatives, floral fixatives, ember, musk, woody, leather, so many more. I'll discuss with you, I'll have an elaborate discussion about fixatives at a later date. We have two more questions. One is on musks and the other one is on Galaxolite ISOE Super and you wanted to add Hedion. Shall we start off with this question? To continue about musk story, let us quickly touch upon Galaxolite. Like I said, we were talking about fixatives. Musk, the fam family of musk is a classic classic example of fixatives. Musk tincture was historically used. The Himalayan musk deer. Musk tincture was obtained from the Himalayan male musk deer. But today, musk tincture is no more available. So modern, modern day chemistry had an answer. And we came up with the family of natural musk. Nitromus, musk embered, musk zalal, musk ketone. For regulatory considerations, historically, nitromus are very important. Channel 5, Brut, Shalimar, all this and more had a lot of nitromus being used in the composition. But over a period of time, due to regulatory considerations, nitromus were phased out. And Chemists came up with a substitute called polycyclic musk. Galaxolite is the foremost polycyclic musk introduced in the year 1957. It was this invented by IFF scientists in the year 1957. Galaxolite is a magical molecule. Galaxolite the smell of fresh it was discovered in 1956 sorry it was synthesized first in 1965 and later used by IFF Postmus IFF Postmus in the 1960s wherever a fixative effect was desirable the answer was we cannot use nitromus the answer was to use Galaxolite, polycyclic musk. Polycyclic galaxolite, the smell of fresh, freshly laundered linen. Galaxolite has a very soft floral aspect. Galaxolite is a classical musk ingredient. The family of Mac polycyclic musk started with galaxolite. Along with galaxolite, we have tonalite. Kashmiran in the family of polycyclic musk. The smell of galaxolite is clean, sweet, floral, and woody musky. Galaxolite can be efficient in as low a concentration as 0.5%. 
and you can use it up to a level of 30% in compositions. Galaxolite finds use in incense sticks, agarbatti. It finds use in floor cleaners. It finds use in car fresheners, air fresheners, deodorants, fine fragrances. Across a whole gamut of creations, Galaxolite is a dream ingredient. Perfumers of today, modern day perfumers, do not restrict the use of musk ingredient to only Galaxolite. To ensure complexity, to ensure a rich musky character, to ensure high level of long lastingness desired by the evaluator, perfumers use a combination of polycyclic musk, macrocyclic musk, and allicyclic musk. It's good to use. Whenever you use a musk, it is good to use a combination of polycyclic musk, macrocyclic musk, and allicyclic musk. It helps you build a musk complex. And by using a musk complex, it ensures complexity, performance to any composition across categories. From a low end, I cannot say low end, from an agarbatti home care to a top end fine tracker. This should be the approach. Just an introductory session. I'll be discussing each and every set of raw materials. Elaborate <coughs> at a later point in time. Sure. For sure. I'll discuss in detail. I'll also help you with a kit wherein you can spell the raw materials and we can discuss understand and use, learn to use raw materials in a better way. Okay? Thank you. So, I was talking about Galaxolite, which is the first ever polycyclic musk introduced in modern perfume. Galaxolite is a purely synthetic molecule, not found in nature. Galaxolite has a clean, sweet, floral, woody and musky aspect. Galaxolite find use in burning products, burning like agarbatti, burning like candles, reed diffusers, air fresheners, flow cleaners. But if you have dishwash, please do not use Galaxolite because dishwash, it is recommended that the fragrance should not be long lasting. Galaxolite, the primary purpose of using Galaxolite is to achieve long lastingness. So if you have a dishwash application, please refrain from using Galaxolite. This is a message for young evaluators. <coughs> Galaxolite, you can use as low as 0.5%, 1%, 2%, 10, 20, 25, 30%, the way you want. How best to compound using Galaxolite? The next magical ingredient is Hedion. IFF came up with Galaxolite, polycyclic musk, in the 1960s. And Fermanish came up with another magical ingredient, Hedion, methyl dihydrojasmonate, year 1957. A Fermanish scientist identified methyl jasmonate in jasmine flower and synthesized his derivative methyl dihydrojasmine which is edion edion when you are first confronted with edion you have no smell so you think you are smelling a blotter which is dipped in water because edion has no smell so this is the magic of perfumery. This is the magic of Hedion. Hedion, when you know how to use it, the magic of Hedion is fully realized. Hedion is a magical 
ingredient in modern perfumery hedion from the house of fermanish year 1957 if you are confronted with a fresh accord you want to make it floral use hedion if you have a woody accord you want to make it more radiant use hedion to make it a magical experience hedion is an answer to one and all of perfumers and perfumery puzzles puzzles when you are puzzled with the creation when you know when you don't know where to go but you know how to use hedion you know how to use galaxoline there is no way you can fail in this important project so galaxoline is musky galaxoline is a base note how to build on this base note is to use hedion which is a body note hedion which gives a radiance and magical radiance to any fragrance to a citrus aquatic to amber to oriental to a gourmand you name it sal bouquet flor fruity oriental the answer is hedion perfumer who knows how to use hedion who knows the magic of hedion who knows the magic of galaxoline is for sure a modern day perfumer for sure a successful one like heat galaxoline hedion also is effective in as low a dosage as 0.5% across categories so you have a fragrance which is which has got everything but not enough floral then just give a touch of hedion to make it radiant to make it diffusive to make it floral how much hedion 0.5% 1% not expensive galaxoline 0.5% 1% not expensive if you are confronted with a low cost brief the answer is to understand and use the magical ingredients hedion galaxoline and the third ingredient the third magical ingredient is isoe super a perfumer a modern day perfumer who knows how to control how to use the three ingredients hedion galaxoline and isoe super can never fail to speak more about isoe super isoe super as an aspect of precious wood cedar wood vetiver amber leather patchouli and more all this and more coming from one ingredient this is the beauty of iso super iso super again as low a dosage as 0.5% perfume has everything it has enough floral sea thanks to hedion enough long lasting thanks to galaxoline but the evaluator the young evaluator hey mr perfumer your fragrance creation is right but it is rough your creation has got rough edges so the answer is iso is super it is imperceptible but it gives a smoothness a softness a velvetiness to a fragrance which is unachievable with any other ingredient in modern day perfumery velvetiness rounding off smoothness softness and an impeccable precious wood long lasting aspect it has nuances of incense it has nuances of cedar wood powdery it is and musk and more coming from one gradient you can see the whole gamut of fine fragrances even today 
in the year 2022 take any perfume you will always find there is iso super there is edion there is galaxolite these are eternal magical ingredients dream ingredients ingredients that will spell success for the perfumer for the evaluator and for the fragrance company the important thing is to learn how to control how to use how much edion with how much galaxolite and how much i say super to balance edion and galaxolite is experience and this experience you need a senior perfumer who can guide you who can nurture you he'll be delighted as a young perfumer he'll say hey this young team of evaluators and perfumers are doing a wonderful job they have used modern ingredients i say super edion and galaxolite they just want some fine tuning the senior perfumer or the master perfumer will be more than delighted to guide you to the winning post to help you achieve that win which is crucial for your morale as a perfumer as a evaluator for you as a young team so the dream ingredients edion iso super galaxolite more to come prashant okay i think this was the last of the questions that we had uh, in the first session can we just talk take one more question on aldehyde uh, anticyclic and anticyclinic so every time all these are functional later all okay. these are functional later okay anything Fine. else anything else anything else of interest let it uh, come from so, the audience yeah one person had asked us uh, you know if galaxolite can be used in phenyl fragrances and what role it plays in phenyl fragrances may i know what is phenyl from this young mm-hmm. phenyl is a floor cleaner i wanted to come from the audience traditionally phenyl was a toilet cleaner some houses i remember when i was young we were using phenyl as a floor cleaner there was no lysol there was no uh, no floor cleaner branded floor cleaner so we, we were using phenyl so phenyl since it is the application it's a floor cleaner of course you are welcome to use galaxolite the way you want as much as you want you can use galaxolite it is stable and it will help you achieve a special touch floral sea musky long lasting a special touch something which is likable on the floor yes you can use galaxolite in phenyl which for me is a floor cleaner traditional floor cleaner in india is phenyl so it has both effects on the aromatic profile and also on the functional side absolutely 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 aromatic is aromatic is clean floral soft woody and musky functional is long lasting makes it long lasting it helps the fragrance linger on the floor the phenyl will smell better if you use galaxolite in the perfume which is used in the phenyl if galaxolite is part of the composition part of the perfume composition which is used in a phenyl application for sure it makes it a better product better okay. appeal so shall we take two questions from the audience uh, if you guys please, have please please okay one person has asked what would be few stable compounds for body soaps what percentages are typically used compound with chemicals aromatic chemicals Com- yeah aromatic chemicals coming back to hedion hedion we can use in the laundry soap hedion we can use in a sub popular soap like breeze hedion we can use in a popular soap hedion you can use in dow soap you are welcome dow will have a lot of hedion but a sub popular soap will have a pint of hedion to complement hedion we can use galaxolite okay So hedion will help you achieve the floral scent. Hedion is stable in soap application, toilet soap, bar soap. Galaxolite also is stable. Apart from hedion, galaxolite, and iso is super. There is one more ingredient which I wanted to highlight: dihydromercinol. 
commonly called dhm dhm is seen as a citrusy lime note but i am not sure many performers know that dihydromarsinol has a smell of gasoline gasoline which is the ultimate macho note in perfumery the ultimate masculine note desirable is the smell of gasoline and dihydromarsinol is a common very commonly used perfume ingredient which has a facet of gasoline the important thing is how as a performer how can you reinforce that gasoline aspect in your creative composition that calls for years and years of experience but for sure one more magical ingredient thanks to chemistry thanks to technology made possible dihydromarsinol which is a few hundred rupees which again can be used from a low end phenyl to a top end tatar oil cool water ck1 all of it aquadigio all of it has a lot of dihydromarsinol dihydromarsinol little soap dihydromarsinol lux soap dihydromarsinol santur soap all of it has dihydromarsinol iso super galaxoline and hedio all these are highly stable in bar soaps so there's Any one more questions so there there are plenty of questions coming in i'll take one more question and then we'll keep the rest uh, for the next session yeah a good friend uh, chandrashekar from kauka he's asked how to evaluate fragrance quality as a business starter mainly for agarbat perfumes so i think what he is asking is uh, what are the different parameters you need to evaluate agarbati fragrances on is he is he into agarbati manufacturing and sales or is he into uh, is he selling agarbati uh, products I, mean, i don't know what what is this so mm. it will be good in agarbati you have several qualities you have the premium you are the super premium you are the not so expensive you are the cheap so depending on depending on what is your objective but ideally since you said you are a startup it will be good to study the market leaders and is study the brands the olfactive you please test each and every agarbatti coming from the market leaders or a variant which is a market leader in that segment test it for yourself and also align with your strategy where you want to be because there are various price points there are various brands propositions happening in agarbatti so depending on your focus your trust area your strategy you please do an intensive study ideally in consultation with a perfumery house because it is good it's always good to take a perfumery house a perfumer into confidence and work as a team with a perfumery house with a perfumer and share your thoughts your knowledge your perspectives and your objectives what you want to do where you want to be and i'm sure as a team you can design a strategy which can, which can help you launch successful projects the the only important thing is i'll say study study market brands not just a one time study a elaborate study which will call for months and months of hard work this industry is skill based and all of you know any skill cannot be achieved overnight it takes years and years and i am talking from a perspective which is 40 years plus i think it's probably time we wrap this up we can carry forward to the next session one thing that i felt like uh, we could probably do is if it going to discuss some materials we can ship it in advance if people are interested so just follow the uh, page and we will have regular updates 
and you guys can always ping us uh, if you need some of these materials so once again thanks a lot veera and also people who have tuned in we would like to keep this as a conversation and uh, keep uh, you know keep evolving as we uh, move forward the idea is to make each one of you and even us technically sound and empower ourselves to be able to compete in the international markets too yeah so i will use this uh, platform once again uh, please we are going to start uh, our online uh, uh, focused cat- chosen category the first category of choice is agarbatti since it is unique to india agarbatti is india so we chose agarbatti between me and uh, uh, prashant we said we'll uh, start uh, discussing about agarbatti puffery so we plan to go live on the 14th of april uh, prashant will make the announcement soon and this initiative will be the first of many more to come this uh, online uh, platform uh, training learning platform i'm not say training the learning for me also learning platform agarbatti will be uh, about 6 hours eight sessions of 45 minutes each and uh, seven sessions will be uh, will be kind of uh, sharing uh, information the eight session the 45 the last session 45 minutes will be question and answer so eight sessions each of 45 minutes total duration is six hours going live on 14th of april i solicit support from one and all of you thank you so much yeah so we will share the details of those the the program soon uh, we are still Uh, narrowing down on the raw materials we want to ensure that you guys have the materials when the course is uh, conducted so that you can uh, you can try these uh, suggestions real time and like i said earlier once you're done with the course it will impact you uh, real time in your business or you know as a creator you will learn something out of it and will be able to go out there and uh, do your own thing So once again thanks everyone and uh, stay in touch and we'll have many more sessions to come thank you thank you